So the next um, and last topic I'd like to cover uh, would be the inventory reports. Now in wireless standard, uh, we have an online reporting tool. And to access it, you're simply going to click reporting here, this icon. So this is going to bring you in a separate web browser to our reporting online tool. And here's what it looks like when you first log in. Now there's a lot you can do with this reporting tool. Um, today we're just going to stick to the inventory reports. Now notice um, on the right hand side, this is our dashboard. So if you like a report on the left that you see, um, you can drag it into the dashboard and it will save and basically it serves as a quick preview of the report. So that way the next time you log in, you can see these different reports all in one window. Now to access inventory reports in wireless standard, in, in this uh, reporting module. Um, you're simply going to click reports on the left here and then you're going to scroll down and here are all the different categories of reports you can run. Now the one um, we're concerned with today would be the inventory. So we'll click inventory here and notice it brings up all the different inventory reports we can run. We can run different um, reconciling reports, um, we can run RMA reports, purchase order detail reports, all of our inventory reports are in this category. Now the main inventory report I go over with my uh, clients on this training is the inventory quantity and cost by store report here. This will be your main inventory report um, to show you all of the different quantities and serial numbers that you have currently in your system by location. So what you do is, and, and Cassie, this may answer your question, um, what you do is you click on the report, and then it's going to ask you to filter out exactly what you're looking for. So here under locations, notice if we click the drop down, we have all these different locations. So say, you know, we're, we're not concerned with some of the locations, we just want to see the Brooklyn products so we can highlight Brooklyn but if you do want to see everything you can simply leave it on default and you can deselect different locations based on what you're looking for and then here in products what you're gonna do is filter out exactly what you're looking for so I can uncheck the top here and then say we just want to see our cell phones that are in stock I can just select our cell phone departments or say we're only concerned with accessories. I could do this as well. Now you can get even further in detail if you'd like if you click the little arrows on the left. So say with accessories we just want to see you know our batteries that are in stock or we just want to see cases. So it's all depending on how you know precise and detailed you want the report to be. For this example let's say we want to do cell phones so I'll select our cell phone departments. Bins is the condition of the item. Um, so if you ever have a, a return or exchange, it can go into a different bin, such as a used bin. So it's only going to distinguish the, the condition of the item. I recommend leaving this on all so you have full visibility to see everything that's in your inventory, regardless of condition. And then you can click OK down below and this will run the report. And now notice here, um, here is our, our inventory report on all the phones that we currently have stock in our, all of our locations. So we have a product description uh, field, we have a serial number field, as well as a quantity field. We also have our total cost and average cost. Now down below we have totals here, so we can see that we have over 3,000 phones in stock. And we also have our total cost of all of those phones. 
Now, this report, the way it comes out, it's, it's extremely large. Like, notice it's over 150 pages long. So we don't want to have to scroll through each page to see exactly what we're looking for. We, we want to pivot the information so this way we can, we can see it um, nicely in a nice breakdown per model of foam. So to do this in wireless standard, it's really simple. You're just going to take this product description full here. You're just going to drag it up just a little bit and then drop it. And now notice we have this nice view, which is only two pages long. And we can see we have nine of this particular model of phone in stock. We have over 270 of the LG Motion 4G. We have one of these Metro phones, 14 Samsung phones, and so on. And of course, here's our total cost of all of these phones. Now, if you want to see the serial numbers and locations of each of these phones, say the nine of the uh, Kyocera phones, um, what we could do is click the little um, tab on the left, the drop down. And it will show you okay, that these nine phones are in the Astoria location, except for one that's in the Brooklyn location, and here are all the serial numbers to these phones. If you ever want to print this report, um, it's really simple. You go to this tab here, print, print uh, report options, I'm sorry, report options, and then you're going to go down to print here. And you can select whichever printer you'd like to, to print the report to. You can also subscribe to the report. Um, if you click subscribe here, it's going to ask you to save it to a custom area, and you can name the report whatever you'd like. So after you um, save it to the custom area, you, um, what you can do is click report options again, and then click subscribe. And this is a really nice feature, and it's free within Wireless Standard. You can have the report emailed to you either daily, uh, weekly, or monthly. So you're basically, you're basically just going to name the subject line that will appear in your email. You're going to type in your, your email address. And then you're going to mark um, if you want it to be sent as, as a zip file or as just a regular Excel or C CSV file. Down below is where you're going to set the parameters as to how often you want to email to you. So either once on an hourly basis, daily basis, weekly, you can pick your days of the week and the time that you want to email or monthly. And after you set the parameters, simply click OK and then you'll start seeing the reports um, email to you in your inbox. You can also report, uh, export the report to an Excel file or CSV file if you'd like, right from here. Um, you can view it in different modes, uh, such as a chart. And you can also modify the report. Um, let me give you an example of this. So to modify, you could basically customize these uh, headers. So if we go to report options and then modify, we can um, go to show hide columns, and then we can drag different columns back in to the report, such as category, and we can also drag um, headers out to customize it that way.